Uh, hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to uh, set up uh, your PyTorch or LibTorch in C++ uh, with Visual Studio 2022. Uh, firstly, in order to do so, uh, we need to create a new project. And uh, under new project, um, I have just created a main.cpp file here. And under under this code, I have simply just you know, may I have written a boilerplate, and when I try to execute it, and it just gave me a bunch of error because it cannot find the torch um, edge header file. Now, to install it, what you need to do is that you need to go to the official page, and I'll be providing uh, the link. And in this uh, page, uh, what you could do is you have this C C C plus plus and uh, underscore java and here the naming convention is a lip torch and you could choose um, the given version like CUDA so since I do not have uh, GPU I'm just choosing CPU and here I'm going to download uh, the leash version so it's just the choices are totally up to you now you have to just uh, click on to this release and you can save in any desired location that you want and once you have saved it and uh, you would uh, I would I've just I have saved it here so you would be downloading a zip file so you have to just extract it and uh, and uh, this uh, once you have extracted once you go through the procedure you would go uh, to this uh, you know touch loop so now what you want to do is you want to set this uh, into your project so you will just try to run it you have installed it and when you try to run it still you get an error because i have to show your uh, program that we define this um, library so now what you can do is that you can right click and go to the properties and in properties you would have under c c plus plus general uh, there will be additional include directories and uh, um, in here, uh, you have to include the additional directories. So click on edit, and uh, yeah. So you have to go where you have installed that uh, libtorch, and you have to include uh, uh, include. Uh, you have set up the path, and again, you have to go. And the same, it's the same procedure, but now I have to go to lib, lib torch, include, and you would go to and the torch, and uh, you would see C source API, include, torch. So okay, so you have this is a very standard procedure, and uh, make sure that uh, in core generation you are using multi-threaded uh, DLL. So since I'm using a release version, so I would choose this option. If you are using a debug version, you would have to choose the debug, uh, debug uh, DLL uh, slash uh, MDD, okay? And, uh, um, okay. Now, what you want to do is that you will come into Linker. You have to show where your binary files are actually are. So you would go to the general and uh, you would add those libraries in edit and in edit you would go and find those uh, binaries in your of your project so you would just go to the link and you would just include that uh, path or uh, folder path now let me just show you um, that what it does what it looks like inside the folder so these are all the binaries you have the .dll extensions so you have just included the path now you have what you have to uh, give the input like what binaries to include and in here additional dependencies you would have to add uh, uh, torch lib cpu torch cpu and c10 lib so i'm just going to uh, click ok and apply and okay now properties okay uh, let me just i have to set it into the release mode and i have to go to the properties of oh, wait 
um, I'll just go into the folder um, I'll just go into the folder uh, come to the torch solution okay in solution I'm just going to delete all this because I'm going to recompile it I have already compiled it so it doesn't make any sense right. so now you have when you try to run it you're building the file so uh, it's compiling and uh, probably you would get an error because um, let's see okay now we have an error like it cannot find the torch cpu.dll and it cannot find a c10.dll now um, you have to show those where those dlls are right uh, now what you need to do is um, you can just simply go back to those um, library like torch library and where those binaries are you have to just copy and paste into this So you would copy all this and uh, you would simply paste it into your executable. So where there is uh, .exe uh, you have. So once you have set it up, I think probably it should work now. Now if you go back to your uh, Visual Studio and uh, when you try to run it or um, build it however you like. So the code is working. So let me let me just try it uh, one more time. I'm just going to provide an, an, an integer, like let's say int n, and I'm going to say c in n, and uh, I'm going to provide n comma n. So it will be an n dimensional n by n matrix. So when I will try, I'll try to rebuild it again. Uh, so that the program is compiling okay now I am going to input let's say 10 and I have the matrix anyway um, that's it for today thank you for watching me